What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Great to have you here. Today we're talking about oil bottles. So here's an example, oil bottle. So olive oil, put other kinds of oil, you could put anything. So you have to get one of these guys, a little spout, and then you have to make sure that your circle is exactly the right size so that it fits in. And then you push it in and it's sealed in there. This is a pretty new thing for me. I haven't made that many of them. Couple people, RD Ceramics is someone I follow on Instagram. Uh, the, my studio assistant, Kai, he makes quite a few of them. So basically what you need is you need to buy one of these. You need to be able to throw a bottle like this and then glaze it and stick it in there. It's a pretty cool thing. It's a very popular item. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I make them or throw them today. A couple other items. This one is a carved one in my Canyon Skies glaze. So it's got a really nice texture. And then this one is Aurora Green over winter wood. As you can see, this one, stick that in there and then it's nice, doesn't come out, but you can pop it out if you need to fill it with oil or whatever. This was one I just threw. This one had a longer stem on it and of course it will shrink a little bit. So I'm still just playing around with a lot of different shapes of oil bottles and still yet to find like the one that I totally love even though they all work. So all this stuff is gonna be up for sale plus a bunch more. Check out all this stuff. I'm super excited about this restock on Sunday, November 5th at 6 p.m. It's like our first real big restock we've had in a long time. We have something brand new, these Christmas candles. Check these out, red, green, white. They're super cool. We collaborated with a local candle maker to get Christmas spirit flavors. So they smell like fur and cinnamon and cider. And so it's just very cozy. So we'll have those going up in the restock as well. To get started on this project, these oil bottles, first thing you need is some clay. So for these, I all started with about one and a half pounds of clay. Um, I think you can pr pretty much do anywhere between like one and a half to maybe two to two and a quarter would be the right size. So that's one and three quarters right there. So for these oil bottles, I got my one and three quarter pound clay. And what you wanna be thinking about obviously is how you get the clay up from the bottom and you wanna leave enough clay at the top so that when you collar it in to get the right size for your oil dispenser, that you have enough clay there because one of the most common problems is you get too thin on the top and you don't have enough clay to work with. So I will show you exactly how I do it. So this is B clay from Continental Clay. The ones that I made over there were for, with buff stoneware from Continental Clay. So just like everything, center it and then make that hole down in the middle. And then from here, what I really wanna do is focus on getting the clay up from the base as much as possible, trying to make that cone shape. So wider at the bottom, skinnier at the top. That's just gonna give you the most flexibility later. So I'm really gonna try and get a lot of that clay up in just a few pulls. And then I'm gonna almost stop pulling right there so that I keep as much clay up towards the top as possible. Cause then later in the throwing process, you'll notice how much that clay helps to have a lot at the top. All right, so I'm gonna do maybe one more pull. All right, so right now the clay is about at the thickness that I want it to be from here to here, but it's not from here to here. From here to here, there's quite a bit left. So that's when I can start to think about collaring it in. Collaring it in, I just get my both my hands really wet and then I just kind of apply even pressure as much as I can to a lot of different parts. And all these rules about throwing like this are applied to any like small necked piece. Like if you're making a vase that you want really skinny at the top, same thing as this, right? And then once you start doing that, there is gonna be kind of a lot of excess clay in here. So you will have to pull up starting from, you know, from about here to there. So at this point, we're basically done throwing this part and we're just gonna make this part a little bit more even. You don't wanna go too thin because the thinner you go, the less flexibility you have. So you can kind of do like pull, collar, pull, collar until you get it to be the right thickness. And then oftentimes when you do these types of pots, it will be uneven at the top. This one is pretty good, but I nicked it with my finger. So I'm gonna take the top part off. And then as far as this piece goes, you basically, you know that the clay is gonna shrink, right? And so getting it to be the exact right so that it fits, you want it to kind of get in there and just barely touch up to like this. And this is gonna totally depend on your clay and how much your clay shrinks. So I can't exactly tell you 
exactly how to do it, you're gonna just have to do a little trial and error. Or if you test how much your clay shrinks, then you, you know that as well. So there, I brought it in there and I can tell it's too much now. Too, it's too skinny at the top. Because it's too skinny, that will barely fit at all in there right now. So that would shrink too much, probably wouldn't be able to fit in after it shrank. So I'm gonna just take it out a little bit and I'm actually gonna keep pulling it so that it makes it a little thinner. So right about there would be good, I think. So it sits in there. I know that when it shrinks, it will really shrink to a nice fit. All right, so there, that's what I would say is about where you want it to be in terms of if you really push it in, it might be get all the way in there but that's a good place to start for these. And then if you, you know, to make sure you keep track of what you measured and then how did it fit when it came out. So that is about good. So I'm gonna take this and then I'm just gonna flip it over and pour out the water that's in there since I can't get a sponge in there. Uh, and then that's good. I'll come back and trim that a little, maybe carve it a little bit. Now let's make one that's slightly different shape and uh, we'll talk about it again. That's about it for this one. So this one I was just gonna put a little bit of like some design in there. So I thought that would just like, since this is something that you kind of grab and hold and use, then it's nice to have it have some sort of texture just to make it easy to hold on to. Just measure that one more time. That's just the super important part of the whole project is just making sure that fits, right? do that and just kind of make sure that it's nice and smooth and there we go get that water out of the bottom all right that's it that's the oil bottle it's pretty simple to throw obviously it is probably a little harder if you've never done it before anytime you do a long neck like that or a skinny neck on top it is a little bit more of an I'd say an advanced project uh, just because if you haven't thrown a lot then collaring in at the top. It's just making sure that you're at the right thickness at the right time when you're throwing is all really important. So best of luck to you in throwing your oil bottles. They are a great seller. So let me know how it goes. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Check out all these pots plus more. The gas kiln is going. Oh, I'll show you the gas kiln right now. It's at like 20. I don't know what it's at, but it is hot. We're at probably cone nine right now. 2200 degrees. Ready for this? Boom! Yahoo! That's some good reduction right there. Anyway, we have all those pots going up, plus we have all the pots that are in there that are yet to be finished going up. We're gonna keep pots stocked all holiday season long. So if you need anything, I mean, it's crazy in the studio right now what's going on. We have a bisque fire going with some custom order stuff. We got another glaze fire going in here. So lots going on. Appreciate you guys so much. Been supportive this year and placed orders. So hope you guys have a great holiday season. We'll see you in the next video.